Hi there, I am Surang from English Wing. Today it is total immersion and we are going to a story, a beautiful story. That story is a conversational type of pattern. It is a conversation. 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 Yeah, the story is about a woodcutter, Joe John, the name of the woodcutter. Joe John, a woodcutter, worked for a company for five years, but never got a raise. Joe John, the name of the woodcutter, worked for a company. He was working in a company and uh, he has worked for five years. One, two, three, four, five years he has worked. A long period of time, he has worked in that company for five years, but never got a raise. No increase in salary, no salary increase. They did not increase the salary. Salary is the your paycheck or whatever. Salary, the amount of money that you are earning working in that company, that is that is the salary. No increase in salary, that is raise. Raise means increasing your salary. Never got a raise. How long has he been working here? He has been working here for five years. But no salary increase. That is sad. The company hired Bill and within a year he got a raise. But this is Joe John. Bill is a different person. So, Bill came to work in this company and then within one year, he worked only one year in this company and he got a raise. That is really a problem. That guy, Joe John, working here nicely. He has worked here for five years, no raise. But Bill, that guy, worked one year and he got raise. Not a good thing, shall we see? So shall we go to a sort of conversation here? You just think I am Joe John, my friend is here, my friend is Kevin. I'm Joe John. Emma <clears throat> Kevin. Yes, uh, John, yeah. Now, Kevin Machan, the thing is actually I've been working here for five years, you know. So then my salary is the same as usual. I have 50,000 rupees. And when I joined this company, they gave me 50,000 rupees. But now even I'm having this, the same 50,000. That is not a good thing, you know, right? So I'm, 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 I'm working um, in this company, uh, thinking about this company. I like this company. I love this company. I love everybody in this company. I work hard. But it seems that my salary is not increasing. That is, that is not a good thing. Isn't that? Yes, Masang uh, John, the problem is this, you know, now this is a company. This is not something, uh, uh, the, something of your relatives or somebody. So therefore, this is a company. They are, they are trying to get a sort of a profit. That is, they want to earn money. So therefore, they may have their own problems. But if you go and talk to the boss, that is... Uh, Mr. Mm, say, Mr. Uh, mm, a name, um, Malcolm. Yeah, Malcolm. Mr. Malcolm, if you if you go and talk to Mr. Malcolm, he would do a good thing for you. I think so. He is a very good, kind-hearted guy. Uh, our manager, mm, and he's a boss. Then you just go and talk to him. I think uh, something will happen. Yeah, that's good. That is the thing. <clears throat> and um, now it is Bill. Bill. Bill is not really happy. See what happens next. This caused resentment in John and he went to his boss to talk about it. This caused resentment. Now, Joe John is a person who has been working here for five years. 
but no salary increase, no increase in salary. It caused resentment. What is resentment in John? Not Bill, in John. What is resentment? If you think you are ill-treated, ill-treated means other people don't treat you well. I'm working in this company and people think I'm not a good guy. I can't do work or always when things are given, I'm not given the chance. So they say, no, no, uh, so uh, Joe John, Joe John, no, no, give that to, um, give that to, um, say, Jonathan, give that to Jonathan, not to Joe John. Joe John is a, not a good guy. He cannot do work and people say things like that. So I'm, I'm really unhappy. People ill treat me. People don't treat me nicely. So, ayo, she, and I am in resentment. So that is, uh, you are not treated well. So you don't like this situation. Uh, you are really disgusted with everything. So you are in resentment. So, for example, if you are in resentment, if, if the Joe John is in resentment, he would say things like that. Oh, Mashang, Bill, Mashang, I don't like all these things because I'm working in this company um, in a very good way. And I've been working here for five years, but yet for they don't treat me well. Everybody does not like me. So I don't like this company. My salary is 50,000 and uh, it's really, really difficult to, I mean, buy things and uh, support my uh, kids in their education and things like that. So I don't like this company. I, so that is, I'm in resentment. You understand? This caused resentment in John. Resentment. She. And he went to his boss to talk about it. He is going to the boss. Why? To talk about that. He just saying, I am, I am Joe John. I'm going to meet the boss. Excuse me, sir. May I come in? Yeah. Yes, Joe. Take a seat. Sir, actually, um, I want to talk to you personally. Yes, Joe, uh, just tell me anything. Don't hesitate to tell me anything. Yeah, feel free to. You can, you can talk about anything with me. Yes, sir, the thing is, actually, I joined this company in, say, uh, 2017. Yeah, I know, I know that. Yeah, I know, yeah. 2017, you joined this company. So now I, I've been working here for uh, five years, sir. Y yes, Joe, I, I know that. So what's your problem? Now, sir, so I'm, I'm, I'm earning only 50,000 here. But mm, the, when I joined this company, uh, I mean, the company gave me 50,000. Now, uh, at this time, even uh, my salary is 50,000, I think it would be a good thing if uh, I can have something higher than 50,000. I think so. That is my idea, sir, because I have worked here for five years and things like that. You know, right? That is conversational language. And <clears throat> boss says, yeah, yeah, I know. I know what you say is true, actually. But in the next, ne shall we go to the next slide and you can see what's happening. The boss said, you are still cutting the same number of trees you were cutting five years ago. So you are still cutting. Still means now nowadays still. Um, the boss said you are still. You started uh, in a way. Now you have continued the same thing. Now you are still cutting the same number. For example, if you cut um, five trees a day, when you join this company, you cut five trees a day. Now. Uh, after five years, you cut five, five trees a day. The same thing you are doing, that is the reason why you are having the same salary. The boss said, you are still cutting the same number of trees. You were cutting five years ago. Same number of trees you were cutting five years ago. You were, you were cutting a number of trees five years ago. The same number is being cut even today. We are a result-oriented company. We are a result-oriented company. Shall we go to the conversation later? We are a result-oriented company. Oriented. Orientation is the direction. Well-oriented. Oriented. oriented. Um, programs for orientation. So, there are programs for orientation to, to show the workers the direction that we should go. 
um, and things like that show the direction. Orientation is direction, north, south, or whatever. So result oriented. So our orientation, our direction is our aim is basically um, getting results. We are a result oriented company and would be happy to give you a raise if your productivity goes up. Oh, as they have mentioned that this guy is a good guy. Result oriented company and would be happy to give you a raise. We are happy to give you increase in salary. We like to increase your salary. Mm. But the condition, that is why we call it conditional clauses. He's talking about a condition. If you do that, I'll do this. If your productivity goes up, productivity, productivity means, you know what? Productivity, production, productivity. Productivity means the efficiency or the uh, amount of work that you do a partic uh, within a particular time, unit time. For example, say uh, productivity. If he cuts five trees a day, uh, his production is five trees. The production, basically. Productivity means the rate at which somebody is doing work. So if we cut seven trees, his productivity goes up. Productivity, productivity. So that is it. So uh, we are a result oriented company and would be happy to give you a raise if your productivity goes up. You understand? The boss said, you are still cutting the same number of trees. Shall we go to the conversation then? Yes, I think um, that um, I feel that I should have a salary greater than 50,000, sir, because I have been working here for five years, sir. Yeah, I understand, Joe. The thing is, actually, we are a, res a result-oriented company, Joe, because um, we need results. So, otherwise, we cannot survive here in this company. So, we have competitors. There are We have a competition, really, you know that, because there are a good number of companies uh, doing what we do. So, therefore, we have to compete with them. We have a very big competition. And so, therefore, if we can increase our productivity, we can give you a good salary. So, the, if you are increasing your productivity, the amount of work you are doing per day, uh, I think we can think about um, a salary increasement, Joe. That, that is the thing, Joe. That is the problem we are facing. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry to say, at this time, I cannot increase your salary because uh, the same number of trees are being cut uh, for five years. I mean, when you join this company, you cut uh, a number of trees per day and the same number of trees uh, is cut even today. So that is the thing. Your productivity hasn't gone up. So therefore, I think um, if you can increase your productivity, Joe, I think um, we can think about a salary increase. Do you understand what I say, Joe? Yes, sir, I quite understand. Mm. Result will come and would be happy to give you a raise if your productivity goes up. Shall you go to the next slide and see what's happening? Do you understand now I'm, I'm telling you the story and uh, I'm trying to give you a sort of conversation that can come up. You know, right? <laughs> so the conversations would be not, not, not really good. They are not original because I'm not facing that situation. So therefore, I just say what I think. But I've, if I really happen to face the situation, the conversations would be really beautiful because it is my experience. This is not my experience. And I say some something that comes to in my mind when I'm uh, doing this story. I don't have Kolakali and everything, everywhere screens or everything that so that I can look at them. If I'm reading from a script, I'm just looking at your eyes. You understand what I say? I can write beautifully the conversations and... I can read from screen. If you are doing, if I'm doing that, I have to look at the lens and you will see that I'm doing a very good conversation, but I'm reading a script. That's sad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm not doing that. You can see that I'm, I'm, I'm really free. I'm, maybe the conversation that I'm producing would not be of that, of that good quality, but yet for all, I'm doing something and you can see how language is produced. Clear? Yeah. Shall you go to the next one? So the boss said that if the productivity goes up, they can pay more. So then John went back. 
started hitting harder and putting in longer hours, but he still wasn't able to cut more trees. What happened was, John went back. Okay, okay, sir, I'll do that, he promised, and started hitting harder and harder, harder. Worked hard. And putting in longer hours, he worked um, longer than um, usual. Longer hours, that means if he has worked five, five, uh, seven hours per day, now he is working eight hours per day, however, in longer hours, but he still wasn't able to cut more trees. He could not cut more trees. He wasn't able to cut more trees. Mm, sad to say. He cannot improve his, uh, I mean, cutting skills, that is, that is it. So then, uh, he is going to talk to uh, his friend, Matthew. Matthew, the thing is, actually, I went to meet the boss to talk about my problem. And the uh, boss said, uh, I, actually, I am cutting the same number of trees that I was cutting when I joined this company. So that, that is the problem, actually. They, what they say is true in a way. <clears throat> but Machang, however, I can't um, do things. I mean, uh, using this amount of money, having this amount of money, it is really, really, really bad thing. So I started cutting hard and I worked long hours. But still, I feel that I cannot improve my work. So no sort of um, improving my productivity. So what can I do? Mazang Zhu, okay, you just go to the boss and say that you tried very much, you tried hard, but um, no improvement. You just go and tell him. He's a good guy. The boss is a good guy. You just go and tell him. Then he says, Mazang, I am in a dilemma. I'm in, I'm in a real dilemma. What is dilemma? We are going to see what dilemma is. I'm going to real dilemma. So shall we see? John went back, started hitting harder and putting in longer hours, but he still wasn't able to cut more trees. He went back to his boss and told him his dilemma. Dilemma is a big problem. You are not happy. You can't decide what to do. You are in a very bad situation. For example, the office people are not treating you well. So, at times you think that you should leave this office and to find another job. And at times you think, however, I, I am earning 50,000. I won't be able to find 50,000 if I go to do a, um, another office or to find another job. Mm, so, therefore, what can I do? You are in a dilemma. You cannot understand. You cannot realize. You cannot decide what to do. That is a really bad situation. There are situations in our lives, bad situations, we cannot understand what to do. That is, you are in dilemma. Oh, I don't understand what I can do. Shit. Things like that. Big problem. So, he went back to his boss and told him his dilemma. So, so shall we go to conversation? And uh, he goes to his boss. Excuse me, sir. Uh, uh, yes, Joe, come in. Yeah. Have a seat. Mm, okay, sir. Thank you, sir. The problem is when I first came, you told me that, um, well, you cannot increase my salary because uh, I am cutting the same number of trees that I cut five years back. When I joined this company, I... Um, cut this number of trees and you said that I'm cutting the same number of trees. So, uh, that is my problem. That is the reason why you cannot increase my salary granted. So, I understand what you say is true. <clears throat> but the problem, sir, I, 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 I wanted to improve the situation. And so, I, I went back to the field and I started cutting um, this time working really hard, but sir, I, I, I work long hours, sir. But I feel I cannot improve my situation. I cannot uh, improve my work. The, uh, finally, I find that I am cutting the same number of trees, sir. 
So that is not my fault. So I don't know what to do. I'm in a re really a great dilemma, sir. Um, please help me uh, because that, that means I'm not trying to do my work proper in a good way, but I'm trying to do my work hard. But sir, finally, I am, I am really helpless because I try my best to do the work, but yet truly I cannot cut uh, more than the number of trees that I'm cutting. Um, I don't understand this, sir. I, I, I don't know why. Yes, Mr. Joe, I, I understand the, your situation. That is okay. But um, shall we see what, what Bossy is going to say? He went back to his boss and told him his dilemma, told the boss his dilemma. The boss told John to where? Yeah, the boss told John to go to go talk to Bill. The boss told John to go talk to Bill. Bill is the new guy. The boss wanted this guy to uh, go and talk to Bill. Maybe there is something Bill knows that you and I don't. The boss says, okay. Uh, Joe, the thing is, actually, you just go to go and meet Bill. Maybe he knows something that we don't know. We have no idea of. That is said. You understand? The boss told John to go talk to Bill. Maybe, in direct speech, you can see, maybe there is something Bill knows that you and I don't. Shall we go to the conversation part? So this is the problem, sir. Yes, Joe, I understand you. Um, but actually, I even can't understand why you cannot cut uh, uh, a good number of trees as Bill does. Uh, but maybe, maybe there are there are times that even though we are big people here, we have no idea what others are doing. So therefore, I think uh, there is something that Bill knows that you you have no idea of what he is doing. Actually, I have no idea how he is cutting that number of trees. Maybe he knows the secret. We have no idea. Better you go to uh, Bill and talk to him. He will tell you how he is doing the work. I mean, uh, what is his secret? You can you can you can get the idea of um, how he is doing that. He will reveal his secret. He will tell you what the secret is. I, I think that is the best way to uh, solve this problem. So please go and meet. Bill. Okay, sir. I think that's a good idea, sir. Uh, I think that is really good. I never thought of it that way, sir. Uh, shall we try it uh, that way, sir? Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And this guy goes and see what happens. Joan asked Bill how he managed to cut more trees. John asked Bill how he managed. Manage means, I mean, there may be techniques or there may be things that he knew. John asked Bill how he managed to cut more trees. Uh, Masang Bill, uh, excuse me, Bill, excuse me, I want to talk to you, Bill. Masang, yes, Masang, uh, Joe, what is the problem? No, Bill, the thing is actually uh, not, a, not a big problem, Bill. The problem is actually, I, I have worked here for um, five years, as you know, and you have worked here for one year, um, and uh, you had the raise, you, your salaries now, um, they have increased your salary, but my salary is not being increased, you know, even though I have worked here for five years, and uh, I'm, I'm not, I talk to the boss, I mean, the, um, my problem. And uh, so, but boss says that uh, you are cutting more and more trees. I mean, I, I, we can see that. Yes, uh, we, are, we are happy. Mm. And the thing is actually, and boss also wanted me to come to you and ask you uh, how you are doing the work. How do you are doing this job um, productively? Why your productivity is going up? And maybe there is a secret, but uh, <laughs> nobody knows. So that is why I came to meet you, uh, Bill. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 that's it. Yes, uh, Zoo. No, this is not really a secret, you know. Mm, this is a really a very, very, very simple thing that I, 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 I don't see the thing in other people, most of the people. 
that they are traditionally they are doing things but uh, in my case i i am I am doing something different. I feel that that that's not a secret. Actually, as you ask me, I can tell that to you. Mm, we'll answer after every tree cut. After every tree cut, that is when I cut a tree, I take a break. I'm not. I'm not work continue continuously. I cut a tree, and I have a break. I have a rest. Mm, but it is not the rest that you think. After every tree cut, I take a break for two minutes and sharpen my axe. I take a break. Break means not a rest. I take a break and I sharpen my axe. That is the secret. See what happens. Machang, the thing is this, you know, so he says, Bill says, Machang, the thing is not really secret. Yeah, that is a very simple thing. And um, when I cut a tree, always after my cutting a tree, I, I, I go to the particular place and I, I sharpen my axe. Yeah, when I sharpen my axe, I, I can cut more and more trees. Not more trees mean I, I, can, I can cut the tree effectively. So the sharpen when sharpened, the axe cuts trees perfectly. That is my secret. Two minutes uh, and sharpen my axe. And shall we see? When was the last time you sharpened your axe? Machang Jo, when did you sharpen your axe? Last time. Eh? <laughs> I have never sharpened my axe for a few days. For this week, always I am cutting trees, cutting trees, not sharpening. Mm. When was the last time sharpened your axe? This question hit home like a bullet and John got his answer. John his answer, John, 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 John realized what happened. This question hit home. Hit home means, you just go to the dictionary and find the meaning of hit home, I'll tell you. Hito means, for example, I think about something. Ah, this should be that. This should be. I'm the. I'm the greatest guy. I'm the. So in politics, politics, people think. Uh, so I am selected this time. I definitely will be selected this time as the president or somebody. And I think I'm doing different things with people. And dunk da da dunk da da dunk da da. I'm the president. Too. I'm the prime minister. And when the results come. You understand, you are not the Prime Minister, you are not the President. So that is the bitter truth. So you have to accept that even though you don't like it. Embarrassing. You have to accept that. Even though you don't like it. That is hit home. The, say, we, we can say that, we can say that, uh, the, the, like the results when the, when the results come after the election the results hit home the results hit home results hit home means the results made me realize what has happened i am not the president i am not the prime minister so that is it that is hit home hit home is unwilling uh, so we don't like it but we have to, we have to accept the truth. This is completely a different thing. We have thought of something different, but what happened was something different. So then we have to, hi yo, I thought this way, but I mean, so this is the result. Huh? See, that is hit home. The results hit home. Uh, this question hit home like a bullet. There, there are two different things. Hit home is one thing, like a bullet is a different thing. Yeah, not hit home like a bullet. Always it doesn't come like an idiom. Hit home is one thing, like a bullet one thing. Hit home like a bullet, and John got his answer. Bullet, in a very very strong way. That is it. That is the story. So, whatever we do, we have to sharpen that. If you are whatever. If you are doing 
whatever you do, you have to improve the techniques and everything that you are doing. Maybe you are a teacher, maybe you are a doctor, maybe you are a carpenter or someone. But always you should try your best to improve your craft, improve your job, improve your techniques and to be a new man. So that is, that is the message. This is really important to you, important to me. Whatever we do, we have to, we have to make the things that we do different day by day, improving. So, just comment that I, I'm, I'm thinking of going to conversations basically. When, when I think about a story, while telling the story, I'm, go, I'm going to uh, sort of imaginary conversations. Then you will learn the um, situational type of dialogues. Yeah, okay. Subscribe, comment and give us a like. And most importantly, comment. Bye.